do you know of anybody that's ever studied near-death experience in association with psychedelics possibly dimethyltryptamine since it's produced in the body or you know is there we were talking about a, a possible um like uh, scientific or chemical explanation not that that would even rule out something metaphysical either but just that that's maybe the gateway into that realm yeah no um Carl Janssen did some research looking at the NMDA receptor within the brain. Um, there's been some studies in Rick Strassman's work on the DMT, uh, the spirit molecule. That's really interesting. But what you find with, with the near-death experience and the psychedelic drug experiences is they vary because with the near-death experience, you can't plan to go out and have one. It's one of these things that just comes out of the blue. Right. Um, when someone kind of takes the psychedelic drugs, it's done with some form of expectation as well. So they mm -hmm. kind of know what it is that they, they expect out of the experience. So I think there's slight differences there in, in the context and the setting. But I think what the both experiences are doing are accessing this deep altered state of consciousness that we're normally not aware of. And so there's many different routes to access in this. And I think perhaps the near-death experience is just one that is completely unexpected.